Hey everyone, welcome to GQ Design Studio. My name is Gabe and today we're going to be learning how to make this painting right here. If you want to grab a picture of your dog and zoom it in a bunch and want to follow the same steps, you can essentially do this with pretty much any dog as long as it's not like one of those little curly haired dogs. These are the colors we're going to be using. We have black, sienna, right? What is this? Burnt sienna. We only need two brushes for this painting, so the first one we're going to be using is this brush right here, and his name is Ignacio. He's a little bit more pointed at the top, and also we have his little brother, Tito. He's so cute, and he's just a little tiny pointy brush. Let's start off with Ignacio here. We can go ahead and put Ignacio into the black paint, and we're going to start off with doing some measurements. So I'm going to find the center of my canvas and go up about uh, seven inches, about two-thirds of the way down. And I want to make a point. And from this point, I'm just going to go ahead and roughly draw the nose of this beautiful furry puppy. So this nose is just kind of this shape. It's pointed at the bottom and then kind of round everywhere else. Let's go ahead and fill that shape in. Very good, now for this next part, let's skip about half an inch and we're just gonna draw essentially an upside down heart. About half of the space right here on the right. We're just gonna swing around. I'll leave that mark there for now and I'm gonna go up about four inches. So we're about two inches up from the halfway point of the canvas. And then we can just connect these two with a nice little line right here. And now we can do our best to mimic this same shape over on this side. Now this doesn't have to be exact, we just want to get the main points in here. Now let's come in a little bit on the dog's lip and we'll draw where his tongue is going to go. About right there. Now his eyes are about three inches above the halfway point of your canvas. So find the halfway point, go up about three inches, and that's kind of where his eye is going to sit. So we'll just draw basic eye shape. And it's the same strategy over here for this eye. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and put more paint on Ignacio. And from this point right here, I'm just going to go straight up like this. And this line is just going to curve out depending on what angle you're going at, it's just gonna go straight out to the corner. So keep angling your brush out like this. So it just goes more and more and more over to the corners, like that. And now we can just start filling that area in. We want our brush strokes to follow through with those lines that we made. Now that we have that triangle in there, I'm just gonna make his nose a little bit wider. The nose is gonna be about four inches wide. This dog has kind of like a white patch right here on his chest, so I'm going to draw a line right over here. And I'm just going from this side right here, I'm just going to draw this line this way. And now we can just fill in all of this area in black, and we want to keep our brush strokes going diagonal like this. This dog's chest patch is not symmetrical, so I'm going to go up a little bit higher over here on this side and draw that line. And then again, just following the shape of this snout, I'm going to draw another line and then, and then I'll fill it in with these diagonal brush strokes. We can go ahead and clean off Ignacio now. And the next color we're going to be using is the Burnt Sienna. With this Burnt Sienna, I'm just going to fill in this area over here under his eyes. So we're just going to paint this all with a burnt sienna. And the reason we do this is so we give it like a base coat. So when we do the fur on top of it, you can still see the brown showing through and it gives it a really cool furry effect. Remember to keep your lines diagonal. And we'll wrap this brown around the side of the painting as well. So this section underneath the left eye, we're going to fill in with brown with diagonal brush strokes. Perfect. 
Perfect, and then we can fill in the eyes brown as well. He looks kind of crazy right now, but trust me, it's going to get better. Let's go ahead and clean off Ignacio one more time. And now the next color we're going to use is magenta. So with this magenta, we can outline the tongue. So we're going to go up here on the top of the dog's lip and just fill in this tongue area. So we're going to bring this down about an inch or so, and then we can wipe off Ignacio onto the paper towel. We're going to get some of that pink paint off of there so we can create this dry brushing texture right underneath. So I'm just working my brush into a circle and really just dry brushing that color on there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a scoop of this white paint, put it over here next to our magenta, and then we'll grab some magenta. We're going to mix it together and make like a pink color. And then with this color, we'll just introduce it right here on top of the tongue, right on top of where we dry brushed it. We'll bring it down a little bit and we'll also bring it up into the regular magenta so it creates this gradient going from magenta to this pink color. So we'll get to about halfway down the tongue and we're going to mix an even lighter tongue color. So I'll grab another scoop of white and just make a lighter pink right over here. There we go. That's the color we're looking for here. So again, we're just going to go right on top of where we did the line. And we'll just bring this bad boy down. And then we can slowly bring it up into the lighter pink so it naturally mixes together. And again, creates this nice little gradient. And now we can let the tongue dry and clean off Ignacio yet again. Now that we've cleaned off Ignacio, we can go back to the black paint. And we're going to start filling in this area here. So we're going to do the same strategy and just move our brush in a diagonal way like this. So we're just going with the shape and turning the angle as we go down. Over here by the eye, let's just go ahead and create a nice little curve. From the edge of the canvas, we can start bringing it in, into the brown. Just remember to keep your brush strokes diagonal. And then we'll just fatten up this side over here next to the snout. We'll bring some of these lines down here. Start filling in this area where the brown is. So I'm just barely pushing down with my brush. I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I still want to see the brown underneath it. So I'm just going barely pushing down on the canvas and just bringing my brush back and forth to create some of these lines here and give us a sense of fur. And let's go ahead and do those same steps over here on the left side. So I'm just gonna follow the same angle as the fur and slowly curve it down as I go. Let's go ahead and fill in this area with black next to the snout. And we'll start off just by filling in this area black here coming from the edge of the canvas. So we'll just bring it up in a nice diagonal line. And now let's keep the spirit of this fur going by just following the same steps and making some nice fur right on top of the brown. Let's 
Let's put Ignacio into the water cup for now, and we'll get out little Tito. And we'll dip him into the black paint. And now I can just kind of go in there and draw some more fine hairs and just fill this area in a little bit more precisely with little Tito because he makes some smaller lines. So it allows us to really make some finer hairs here. Let's go ahead and put Tito back into the water cup for now and we're gonna get Ignacio back out and clean him off. Now we're gonna make a gray color. It's kind of a light gray color so we'll start off by just taking a scoop of this white paint and putting it off over to the side and now we'll take a scoop of this black paint and we'll mix it together, we're gonna to make a light gray. And with this light gray, we can just fill in this area here. And now we can start filling in the dog's snout. So let's go ahead and just trace the snout one more time. We wanna make this black line that we originally drew disappear. So the lip's gonna be right on the dog's tongue. And now we can fill this part up here in with the gray. Alright, so now I'll just take a scoop of this white paint. And I'll start filling in this area over here. And kind of just working my brush into a circle. That way I can get it into this part here and just create a nice little gradient. So we're going from this light gray over to this really light gray. Don't worry if your nose gets messed up, because we're going to go over it again at the end. Let's go ahead and let that dry and we're gonna get little Tito back out. Let's make it a little bit darker than the gray that we were just using. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more black to my brush and just mix it on over here. And now we can start making some of these lines here that represent the fur. So again, we're just following the same angles as we originally started out with. So we're gonna go up and down right here and angle our brush as we come out to the corners. We're going to continue out over here on the right and just make a few lines over here like in the eyebrow area. And these aren't going to be as heavily lined as the forehead. But over here where the eyelashes start coming in there's going to be a lot of these highlights here. So we'll just go ahead and just fill in this area right above where the eye is. So I'm going to get Ignacio back out. And I'm just gonna drop this point here a little bit because it's about two inches below where the eyes are and kind of just redraw this angle. Little series of lines right here in the center. It doesn't go all the way out, but it does touch like the corner of the eye right here. And then we'll just continue these lines a little bit over here. On. So there's like a little gap between these lines here. We're gonna punch in where that dog's eye is. So I'm gonna come about right here and give him a nice big eye. Give him a nice little underline right underneath. All right, and then from the bottom corner, we can start doing some lines going up like this. So I have little Tito, and I'm just going up, following the same shapes that we've been following this whole time. And we'll bring it up a little bit more into the cheek area, and we'll follow the same steps over here on this side. We'll bring some of these lines over here, under this eye, and down his cheek. And right here in the center of his face, this part gets pretty light. So let's just go ahead and really lighten up the center right here, right above his snout. And 
and let's outline this eyeball. You can see he's starting to come along now. Next we can clean off little Tito again. And the next color we're going to be using is pure white. Now this pure white I'm just going to make some uh, diagonal lines going across the chest here. And this is going to act as like the fur highlights right here for the chest piece. So we can just really brighten up this chest here. And I'll just go over this black part a little bit just so it looks like there's some fur overlapping the black. Alright, so now we can outline the tongue with this white. Alright guys, let's get some black paint back on little Tito. And now we just outline this little bit right here. So right here underneath the tongue. We'll just draw a nice little line right here. And this little line is going to continue on over to about right there. Let's go ahead and put little Tito into the water cup and we're going to get out Ignacio one more time and dip him into the black paint. And now we can actually redraw our nose. So we'll clean it up. So if you think your nose is too small, this is the perfect time to just make it a little bit bigger. We'll let the nose dry for now and we'll move on to the eyes of the dog. So right in here, we'll just go ahead and draw a nice great big circle where his eyes are going to go. And we'll fill it in with black. And we'll do the same thing over here with this guy. Just do your best to draw the pupils the same size. So we can take little Tito back out and put him into the black paint. And we're just going to outline the bottom of the eyeballs. So I'll just take this line here and move it in like this. And the same thing over here on this heebie-jeebie. All right, and now I'll just take some black off my brush and I'm just gonna darken this part over here, a little tito. It's important you don't have too much black paint on here because then it's gonna become super solid black and we want this to be a little less opaque. So we're just going in and making a nice little shadow on the tongue. Shadows on the tongue, uh, shadows on the tongue, uh, shadows on the tongue. The eyes are looking a little dark, so I'm just going to add a little bit of white to my burnt sienna and just brighten them up just a tad. That way they don't look so dark and they contrast a little bit more with the rest of the dog. So just go ahead and trace the eyes. I'm just going a little bit regular burnt sienna to kind of create this little shadow on the corners. And make it a little bit more three-dimensional. Do you feel me? Do you feel what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? You finding the answers to all the hidden secrets? Let's go ahead and finish up this eye here. So I'm going to stick little Tito back into the burnt sienna paint. And then I'm just going to make a ring around the eye. And I'm just giving this eye some color with this burnt sienna paint. So I'm just kind of rotating my brush. But I'm really just going to brighten this up here. And then we're going to do the same thing over on this side. So we're going to move on to the highlights now. So we'll get little Tito back out. Oh, he's so cute. And we'll dip them into the white paint. And we can start doing these nostrils and whatnot right here. I'm just going to make a line about half an inch below right here. And this line's going to kind of like swing out this way. And swing out this way. All right. And then we'll just go over it a couple times. And then we'll just draw the nostril in. And for the nostril, we're just going to take little Tito and do a little line this way. And then just follow that same path that we just did on the other side. 
like right over here. And then let's get a little bit more of that gray onto our brush. And we'll just make a nice little gray line like right above this line here. And then finally we'll just do the pupils. So let's put some more white paint on little Tito. And on the inside corner of the eye we're just going to draw a nice big circle. And give them that nice little shine in the eye. And then we'll go on the inside of this eye right here. Draw a little highlight and make it about the same size as the one that you just did. And now let's grab some gray paint and we're just going to muddy this up a little bit here. It's a little bit too perfect. So let's just go over the edge one more time so it's not so perfect. And then with a little bit of black paint I'm just going to outline this eye. Give this dog a bit of a little eyeliner. And there we have it. Those are all the steps that you need to know in order to paint this wonderful little doggy giveaway time. So every week I do a giveaway for one of these paintings. Uh, what's the painting? Uh, let's give away this one. Yeah. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. And the winner of last week's giveaway is right here. Congratulations, just private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact info and mail you your painting. If you want to help support the show, the Patreon link is down below and anything that you guys pledge is always greatly appreciated. Once again, thanks for watching. I've been Gabe, you've been awesome, and until next time, stay creative.